drawn so to speak and then she became with Ovis Lucas when we finished this war of mine final cut if you can count that none of our original team survived but uh, Katana came through and she was able to give the legacy of the other four this war of mine stories is next we'll see if we get better we'll see if we make better choices or if it'll just be just as rough. So there are three choices. Fading Embers. The Last Broadcast. Or Father's Promise. So this being said, I'm going to do Father's Promise. Because it's going to be emotional for me playing this. It's, uh... Oh, dude. I'm about to get wrecked. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> I'm gonna feel the sads. Alrighty, so ideally, this is a smaller version of the main campaign. Um, a little bit less kind of ins and outs, but it's more theme setting. So let's find out what that theme is and if this father can keep his promise. Adam's family failed to see. Adam's family failed to flee the city in time. They managed to get by somehow despite the siege until one day Adam's wife fell ill. Without the proper meds, Barbara died. After her mother's death, Amelia became completely withdrawn, so to speak. And then she became ill. One night an explosion shook her tendon, but fortunately they survived. Adam carried Amelia to the other wing of the building despite desperate to save his daughter. So we have a father. Everything will be alright, Amelia. We'll be safe here, I promise. Please rest now. You need to regain your strength. I will look around the house and see what I can find. I'll be close, don't worry, I'll check on you soon. You should rest now. So let's go upstairs. Um, so he is sad. She is hungry and severely ill, so she's already hungry, so we need to make sure that we take care of that soon. Um, oh, I have her selected. Um, so we have a normal station here. We have a fridge and meds there. Oh, go, go up. Yes. Um, and that's it for this building. So we need to make a cooking station. So making that cooking station has to be a priority. And we don't have much time to do it. So hopefully we get all the stuff we need. Okay, we got some wood. Let's check out his bio. It feels like yesterday I buried Barbara. But now Amelia's ill as well. This damn well, uh, war will not take my daughter away from me. I will not allow it. I will find a way to save her. This place looks safe enough, but I have to make sure. I need to check all the rooms for food and meds for Amelia. We desperately need them, my poor little girl. I cannot lose her too. Okay. We got the lot pick to get the door. something good. Alright, food and water. That's good. Let's go down here and see if we can uh, make a cooking station. I need those. Okay, gotcha. I 
I am on to my dude. Okay, there's some of those. I have a feeling that there's a certain sequence of the ways you have to play this. And if you don't use like the certain bits, then it really screws you over. Like, um... Okay, he's saying that he has to go check on Amelia, which we can do that. Let's go talk to Amelia real quick. Now that we got the cooking station up, that's good. They're not good. Your forehead is burning. I need to find some meds quickly. Strong daddy will come back soon. It's just as important for Adam to talk to Amelia as it is for Amelia to hear Adam. If not more. Alright, as soon as this is up, we need to make uh, these two meals. And the thing is, Adam, I don't want him eating a meal. I'm going to have him be hungry if he is. The goal is to keep Amelia alive. No matter what. Alright, we're doing good. We got some meals going on. Uh, now we need to finish that basement. After we feed her. We need to keep her completely and ultimately content so that she can possibly survive. I'm so glad I found some food for Amelia. My heart breaks when she's hungry. I must set out to find more food as soon as the as the worst fighting stops. I completely agree. I know you're sick and don't feel like eating, but you need to be strong. I like how the spoon kind of just going into the head. Yes, that's my girl. Eat, eat it all. All right. She's still hungry? Okay, no, she's just in the middle. So she's ill and he's sad. That's okay. Sadness is just an interpretation of the mind that can be altered. But being gale? That's the same thing as sadness. I can't leave a million on her own. Will someone comes into the shelter? I need to protect her. I agree fully. Huh. Brother's house. My brother's house? When the last time I was here, I visited him there. I can't remember. Nor do I care. If I ever see him again, it'll be too soon. We are staying. doing? I'm not telling you to do this. Anyone, please, anyone respond. This is Autumn. My daughter is very sick. We need bandages and meds now. So he's on the radio trying to get help. Uh, we're gonna feed her. We're gonna wait until we clear this though, because there might be something good uh, for us to get. But then afterwards, we'll feed her. We'll check the radio ourselves, see if there's uh, any flavor text, and then we'll go from there. 
Alrighty, we are through. Ooh, a lockpick. A diamond and a plushie. Let's go get this plushie to her. Wait, wait. I have some stuff to exchange. Well. No meds. Here's some food though. We're okay for now. We need to save up for meds. We don't have... My daughter's very sick. I need meds. Oh, you're the guy from the radio. Yes, do you have meds? Meds are hard to come by, my friend. I beg you. She's all I have. Alright, I'll do what I can. But I can't promise anything. I nearly got shot on my way over here. <laughs> Alright, let's go give this plushie. Let's go give her a meal. Uh, listen to the radio, and then we'll work this way. Check what I found out, kiddo. A plushie dog. Hungry and tired. You know, they looked happy when I gave her the plushie. The smile on her face melts my heart. I wish we had more reasons to smile. But in these circumstances, she's still not talking, so her bio is not updating. Look how cute and cuddly he is. Why don't you take care of him while Daddy takes care of you? Alright, now let's give a meal. Look, Munchkin, I found some food. So now she's only ill. We're doing good. We're doing good. So she's only ill. I'm hungry and tired, but I'm going to have to just suck it up a little bit. Alright, now let's talk to her. We got to at least talk to her once a day. Make sure she feels well. Yes, I know it's not fair. Mommy isn't here with us anymore. But I'm here, and I'm not going to leave you. All that matters now is that we have each other. Alright, start working on the trouble. Well, radio, sorry. He's gonna go through this rubble, and then uh, I'll catch back with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the rubble before the day ends. Um, that's really good. That's interesting. And, uh, wardrobe. Need to prepare. There. 
Okay, so we'll... Oh, what? Hello? Oh, something to trade. Trader, you're back. Do you have the meds? She's severely ill. Oh, it's awesome. So, I need one of those. Um, we'll buy a diamond. A book. That. Wood. Oh. I need the lockpick. Oh, no. <sighs> Danger. I have nothing else to trade, unfortunately. I'm working on getting more. I just have to have more time. I just don't. Okay, now she is completely 100% treated. Sweetie, I brought some meds. Everything will be better now. The fuel will, will drop soon, I promise. Thank goodness, finally some meds for Amelia. I pray they help. Still, I need to get more as soon as possible. So day two, we got food, we got meds. We don't have food anymore, and we don't have meds anymore. But we at least we're sustaining for day one. Well, day two. Don't spit it out. I know it tastes awful. All that matters now is that we have each other. Oh, it looks like I won't be able to work on this too much. I was hoping to get through this. Oh, no. There's too much to do in a day. on meds so she'll be okay for tonight oh okay all right <laughs> I guess we're being a good dad we're being a good dad the whole way through staying indoors the night was calm jeez she would have been fine wait oh no Hello? Can anyone hear me? My child is sick. She's still severely ill. I need help. Someone please answer me. This is not good. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut to when we're past these barriers right here. Adam, we need to talk. I barely was through the rubble. Hello? Not you again. I already told you. Adam, grab a million. Let's go. She's our ticket out of here. She's severely ill, dude. The humanitarian corridor I told you about. They're in luck. We're in luck, brother. They prioritize parents with children. But she's not your ticket. She's my daughter. And there's no way that she'd survive this in the current state. I'd have to carry her and make frequent stops. They'd kill us before we got anywhere. Always a pessimist. I'm sure she'll make it. She's our only chance out of this hell. Listen to yourself here. Would you really risk her life like that? I just want to get us out of here, man. Don't you want that too? For Amelia to be safe? If you're too scared, I can take her myself. Listen to me very carefully. You touch her, and I'll kill you. I don't want to see you here again. My fool of a brother can get himself killed if he wants to. 
I will not risk Amelia's life by carrying her through the middle of the war zone. We'll find the corridor when the fighting is over. War fighting is over. So we're waiting for the fighting to be over mainly. Um, that brother is going to do something stupid, I feel. He'll be kidnapped. Yeah, I can really use the shovel. No! No, we don't have enough to make a shovel. It's one of those false things. Because it costs a lot to make a, a workstation to make a shovel. And we don't have that currently. How many lockpicks do we have? Just the one. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going forward to the next part. Um... We need to make a bed next. And then we need to fix our food situation and meds. But the bed will be the next thing we make. That's um... I don't know. Won't budge. It won't budge! Oh no! I thought, oh no. Oh, that's... It can only be broke from the other side. Oh no. So our next part is going to be waiting on that? A makeshift bridge leads there. Not much I can do then. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, um, I can't break through this area down here, so the only way I can get across is to make a makeshift bridge and get across to this other building from there. Guys. I... I don't know what else to do. Adam, even though things are never great between us, we're still brothers. You were too proud to come to my live in my house when yours was destroyed. At least be reasonable now. There have been talks of humanitarian corridor opening soon. People with children are prioritized. Amelia is our chance for getting out of her. Don't you want to save her? She is. But. Try to find you some crayons. That would be nice. You draw some pretty pictures. Well, I'm gonna just kind of sit out here and wait. There's nothing else to do. Um, so I'll see you guys at night. So no matter what, we're having to stay. Well, guys, this will conclude episode one of Father's Promise. Oh, top out of the fucking cliffhanger. Days of watching over Amelia without rest have taken their toll. Adam passed out from exhaustion. When he regained consciousness, he realized the bed was empty. Amelia was nowhere to be found. The brother took the daughter. And until then, this is now our war, and I'll see you guys in episode two.